What's up guys, it's Bebe Hey, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hi, I'm Haley, and I'm so happy to have you here today. As you guys saw by the title of today's video, I am filming a self-care day in my life, and it is absolutely gorgeous out today, and I know it's going to be an amazing day. I am going to be getting my hair cut, finally, <laughs> and I'm taking your guys' suggestion. Most of you guys want me to kind of keep growing it out and then frame the face, so that is the plan for my haircut, and my appointment is at noon, and then I also have a nail appointment at 3.30. I've had these caramel drizzle nails for a while now, so it's time to change it up, and I want to do something like spring pastel, so I'll show you guys a couple of my nail inspo ideas later, but right now it's 10.28, and I am going to make some breakfast. I saw this new breakfast idea, so we're going to make that right now. Also, before we start on this breakfast, can I just talk about the fact that my hair has so much more volume? Can you guys notice it? Like, the Dyson Airwrap is literally giving me life, and I'm still, like, trying to figure out how to use it. I'm still learning. So, I haven't done, like, a tutorial yet, but I've been loving the bigger barrels. If you guys have it, that's the one that I've been using to just kind of do some, like, bigger, looser curls. And this is my hair. Like, I literally slept and woke up like this. But it still, like, has the volume. So, I'm going to keep doing it. And then one of these days i will show you how i do it i'm going to get my hair cut and then she's probably going to style my hair for me so i won't do it today in this vlog but in another vlog upcoming i'll show you guys how i use it okay so i don't know if you guys have seen it but it's that like viral tiktok breakfast and it's where you bake your oatmeal i haven't tried it yet but we're gonna try it because I've heard people just raving about it and saying that it's so good. Okay, so the ingredients we have rolled oats, banana, cinnamon. I'm going to use the malt almond milk. Or should I use oat milk? Yeah, I think I'm going to use oat milk instead. use the oatly oat milk and I know that some of you guys have been asking me if I like the milk or the oatly better and I really like them both honestly the oatly is a way better price just because you get more ounces in it and it's cheaper but the milk one has cleaner ingredients so I don't know I think they're both good but anyways back to the ingredients so I have rolled oats cinnamon Oatly oat milk, banana, vanilla extract. It says to use baking powder, but we're gonna go with baking soda, and then some chocolate chips. So I just need to combine everything into the blender. Half a cup of rolled oats. You need to do half a banana. banana it says to do one teaspoon of baking powder so I'm gonna do a fourth a teaspoon of baking soda a fourth a teaspoon of vanilla. fourth a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then I'm gonna do Big dash of cinnamon. And 
And lastly, I actually just bought this Oatly oat milk. Oh my gosh, I just started spilling that. <laughs> okay, half a cup of milk. made a mess all right now we oh perfect timing and now we blend <laughs> Okay, so now we bake it and <laughs> this is the only pan that I have so I'm just gonna do it in this loaf pan it would be much better if you had a smaller one. I don't know why I'm laughing so much. It's just that I know this is not exactly right, but we're just gonna go with it. And then I also have these dark chocolate morsels and I originally bought these to make those protein balls. If you guys saw that grocery shop with me video, I talked about it there and I just still haven't made them yet. So maybe I'll do that today when I get back from my appointments. But I just pour this in here. It seems a little wrong because it's supposed to be like like thicker and shorter. But I don't have another baking pan. So this is what it looks like. And like I said, it would be better if the pan was like half the size so that you made it and it was like thicker, but this is what we're gonna work with. So now I just bake it in the oven for about 20 minutes. I just made another cup of coffee and I have been loving the Starbucks medium roast iced coffee. I just pour it over ice and then I did the malk oat milk in the Nespresso Aracino with some cinnamon and it just makes the perfect iced coffee. Wow, that filled so nice. I went to Whole Foods yesterday and I thought you guys would want to see a grocery haul. So I filmed a clip of it when I got home. So I'll insert that right here so you guys can see what I got. I got the Simple Mills Almond Flour Crackers. I have been obsessed with these lately and I haven't tried the cracked black pepper one. So I wanted to try this one out and I just love how simple the ingredients are. So highly recommend trying these if you haven't yet. And then I also got some micro rainbow mix. This has a lot of good greens in it like arugula, broccoli, parsley, kale, and it's perfect for avocado toast. And then I got some more kombucha. It was two for like five something, so it was a good deal. And you guys already know that the guava one is my favorite. And then I also got more goji berries. I love these on my fruit bowls. The only thing that kind of sucks is the whole bag is like $15 or $16, which is kind of expensive, but they do last for a good amount of time. And then the last thing I got is the Starbucks medium roast iced coffee. I'm gonna do my makeup, but I want to listen to some music while I do it. So I'm just gonna fast forward this so you guys can see me do my makeup, but I'm not gonna talk about it. I'll just link the products for you so that you know what I've been using to do my makeup.
makeup of the day. Just a little simple makeup look and I am not gonna be doing my hair. It's been 20 minutes, so it's time to take it out. Ooh, it smells so good. That literally looks like one big chocolate chip cookie. You guys, you know what I literally just realized? I forgot to grease this when I put it in. So hopefully it's not like so stuck to the bottom. I don't really, I mean, am I supposed to eat it out of the pan? No. All right, look at that. That actually looks really good. It's a little bit thin just because the pan was too long, but came out pretty good even though I didn't grease it. Time for the taste test. Mmm. That is actually really good. It's the cross between a cookie and a muffin. Really bomb. <laughs> If you want it to be healthier, don't add the chocolate chips, but the chocolate chips really do make it taste good, so it is a nice treat to have. Quick OOTD, I'm kind of running late, so I need to hurry, but I have this tank on from Beginning Boutique, and then these pants from Zara. I have the matching top to these pants, but it's like 70 degrees, and I didn't really want to wear a sweater top. And then these Air Force Ones, they are the Sage Low. I wear them all the time. I think I need to get a new pair soon, but we are going to go and get my hair cut. I just parked and I go to Atelier Salon. I'm so excited to see my girl Shelby. She cuts my hair and she is literally so cute. So, she's so fun. See her, get my hair cut. It's actually a really nice little area here in this, I don't know. Complex, I guess. Here we are. Oh, it's purple. I'm doing a purple mm -hmm. shampoo. It smells so good. I need my hair to lighten. I'm like, oh, this will help make it feel brighter. Yeah. And now that I'll probably be outside in the sun more. At the pool. Yeah. <laughs> I love that weather. When was the last time I was here? Probably what? Like right before I went to Hawaii? Yeah. So December? That's so crazy. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah, that's long. My um, hair has long. definitely grown out. Yeah. I'm kind of growing it though. Yeah? I'm like, I'm keeping it longer. But I want to frame the front. Okay. Because I feel like it's just, just straight. Yeah, it yeah. goes, it looks weird. I'm still so into this hair. I feel like it is such a fun little change. It's like kind of subtle, but it's just a little bit of a different vibe. I feel like it's kind of trendy to have like more bangs and a framed 
face so I'm into it <laughs> but I realized when I was making my avocado toast that I ran out of everything but the bagel seasoning which is kind of tragic so we are definitely going to Trader Joe's after I get my nails done just use the food for life English muffins avocado mixed with lemon juice two fried eggs and then the rainbow like green mix with some balsamic glaze you guys probably already know this but keaton milburn is one of my favorite youtubers and i have been following along with her for a super long time but she just posted a few hours ago on her instagram that she's going to be moving from arizona to portland to be with her boyfriend and i just saw that she also uploaded a video on youtube called it's time for a new chapter i like clicked on it and i want to watch this i have a little bit of time before my nail appointment so i'm gonna watch her video and then i'm gonna go get my nails done i just pulled up to the nail salon and i'm so excited to get my nails done i asked you guys on my instagram story yesterday what i should get on my nails and a lot of you have suggested kind of like a similar answer so that's what i'm gonna do but you guys said colorful spring colors something natural you should do um light blue or pink um colorful tips something simple pastel for spring baby blue blue and white light blue cloud patterns shades of green pastel tips french tips a blue or something summer like um french tips baby blue or pink pastel colors so so many of you want me to do a french pastel colored tip so that is what's gonna happen and then a lot of you guys also suggested flowers so i think i'm gonna do flowers on the tips as well and i'm excited i can't wait to show you guys how they turn out i think it's gonna be super cute i just finished getting my nails done and let me tell you that took forever i was literally there for two hours and i requested to get pastel like baby blue tips with flowers and they tried to do the flowers four different times and at the end of it i was just like no I made them keep taking it off because they looked so bad I was like I cannot have flowers like this I'm so sorry so they just completely took everything off and they're cute now for the most part the French part doesn't look perfect but it's okay I'm just gonna live with it I'm ready to be done but these are the tips and they are really cute I love the pastel blue but I was like I wanted flowers why why were the flowers so difficult to do I don't understand <laughs> but the pastel blue looks good and it all depends on like the nail tech that you get and I didn't get my usual girl because I forgot to request her and I think that's the reason why it wasn't working out very well but if you guys live in vegas i go to lacquer me up nail bar and i do love the nail salon i just didn't necessarily like the girl that did mine today because i think she's not as experienced but blue is still cute i just i wish i showed you guys the flowers they literally looked so bad <laughs> but it's all good now i saved it this is what they look like up close, just so you guys can see, and they are, they are adorable. The color is fabulous. I was just a little bit annoyed that the flowers didn't work out, but I am happy with the color that I got. I swear every time I come here, they're out of the jasmine rice bags. I don't know why. But I'm just gonna get the brown rice like always. Pretty much gotten everything. I'll give you guys a full haul when I get home. I just got in the door and you guys know I went to Trader Joe's and then I actually swung by Smith's on the way home because Trader Joe's didn't have blueberries. So I got some blueberries there. And then I also realized that I forgot to get lemons to make my salmon tonight. So I got two lemons and then I also got some strawberries. 
I just completely forgot to get fruit when I was at Trader Joe's. Except I did get bananas when I was there. And then I also got some, why did the lighting change get so dark? I got some broccoli for it. And then the brown rice bags. I got more of the coconut aminos because I'm out. And then I was also out of, you know, everything but the bagel seasoning. And I've been, my computer just dinged, but I've been out of, I'm mean out. I lost my train of thought. I have been seasoning my chicken lately with everything but the bagel seasoning and it is so good. If you guys don't season your chicken with everything but the bagel seasoning, I am putting you on right now. <laughs> and then I got some more of the chicken sausages. The last time I got the, I think they were called the tomato and basil ones. And then this time I got the Italian style, which has red and green peppers. Did I buy this one before too? I honestly can't remember. <laughs> and then I got the salmon fillets. Best salmon is at Trader Joe's. And then I got some organic free range chicken breast. Also got a sweet potato. And then I got two of the Go Macro protein bars. These are the peanut butter chocolate chip and they are so bomb. So that is everything that I got. Trader Joe's spent $43.72. So I got a decent amount. And then I spent like $7 at Smith's. It was so cheap. But I'm just going to put it all away. I also need to preheat the oven and start making my dinner. It's already 7.30. This day has just been flying by. I'm going to start making dinner. And you don't need a lot of ingredients for this dinner. I'm just doing the Alaska Wild Sockeye Salmon. And then I'll put lemon on top. I also like to do pepper on top of the salmon. I'll show you guys how I make the whole thing. And then I have a sweet potato and broccoli florets. So I started by preheating the oven to 400 degrees. And now I'm going to prep my sweet potato and broccoli. I rinsed this, I still need to wash the broccoli. But I'm going to slice it up into rounds. Now I'm just going to lay my sweet potato on the pan. So now you can see here that we're making a one sheet meal. So I have the sweet potato, the broccoli, and then there's a little bit of space right here for the salmon. But the salmon doesn't take as long to cook. Perfect timing. So I will put this in first and cook it for probably like 15 at least minutes. And then I can add the salmon and cook that for like 15 minutes so that it all finishes at the same time. I'm gonna check this around 15 minutes and see where it's at. The timer for, ooh, this looks good, for the sweet potato and broccoli went off, so this is done. So I just added my salmon filet, seasoned it with some black pepper and then lemon slices. Then I squeeze a little bit more lemon juice over the top of it. Your salmon will cook at a different time depending on the thickness of it. Generally when the oven's on 400 degrees it'll take like 10 to 15 minutes but I would say to check it at 10 minutes to see what the internal temperature of the salmon is. You just want to be on the safe side. Just check the temperature of the salmon. I ended up baking it for 12 minutes and this whole dinner looks so incredible. Just look at that. 
I am honestly so proud of myself. This dinner turned out perfectly. I've been so into salmon lately. I feel like I go through phases and my last phase was shrimp and now I'm really into salmon. I'm gonna watch some more Firefly Lane tonight and it's such a good show. I'm so glad that you guys recommended it. I really like it. It's definitely like my kind of show. Like you guys know me good. <laughs> also, I keep looking at my hair and I know that obviously like my opinion of it matters the most and I do really like it, but I'm also kind of nervous that you guys aren't gonna like it. I know it looks different, and so I'm just kinda like, I hope you guys like my new haircut. <laughs> I just washed my face, and I use this Epion's Gentle Foaming Cleanser. I love this facial cleanser. It feels so good on your skin, and I've talked about it so many times, but it's just such a good cleanser. And then I wanted to let you guys know that tonight I'm gonna be using the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I also really like this product. It's very hydrating. And I got it from Sephora, but it just feels so good. And I know that you guys ask me a lot about my skincare and my skincare routine. And I could definitely do like an updated video on that. And I do think that skincare is so incredibly important. You should always wash your face before you go to bed and when you wake up in the morning. And then obviously other products are good too. But I just wanted to say that I think that there is more to your skin than just the products you put on it so make sure that you are drinking enough water and you have a healthy diet i think it's important to think about what you're putting into your body because i do think that has a reflection on your skin i'm not a doctor but i just think that eating cleaner definitely helps my skin and when i eat more unhealthy i feel like my skin looks worse so that's just like from my personal experience and then also too i think part of my skin is genetic so i just wanted to say that in case you guys are you know thinking about changing like your skincare routine and stuff you could also do some other factors because i know that skincare products can get super expensive so make sure you're staying hydrated and just eating a cleaner diet but i also wanted to tell you i know that people don't really talk about this that much but I got a new toothpaste and I really like it actually. It's this Crest 3D White and it's a Radiant Mint one. But I don't know. I just feel like it's a good toothpaste. <laughs> now I am ready for bed. That jet lag mask felt really good on my skin though. <laughs> So I'm going to close out the video here, but I hope you guys enjoyed going to my haircut with me and getting my nails done. And I forgot to say this earlier, but when I get my nails done, I get dip on my nails. And I know there have been a lot of people that have told me that dip is very unsanitary. So... I could definitely try something else like acrylic is it acrylic gel i don't know if i'm saying it right but the gel polish instead of the dip but i've just been doing dip for so long so i'm not really sure but that's what i did to my nails <laughs> and i don't remember the name of the color she literally just said it was baby blue so if you go get your nails done, just ask them for baby blue. But I'm going to close out the video here. So again, I hope you all enjoyed watching it. 
If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.